So there's a school of thought out there that make that bacon makes everything just taste better, right? Well, even onion rings, uh, from what yeah. I understand. We're about to find out. The creation fits into the bacon category, one of several at the Barbecue Championship of Nebraska. Oh, this is the big championship. Ron Rauer, Troy Youngblood are with the Greater Omaha Barbecue Society, and Chelsea Salafu returns from Heartland Hope Mission. Hi, Chelsea. Good to see all you this morning. Welcome, guys. All nice right. to have you here. How many years? 23 years for this, right? How did this all get started? Mm -hmm. 23 years. Uh, it started out actually at Exarbon. And then uh, from there, it moved on to several different venues. And now we've found a new home here at the Ralston yeah, Arena. Your first year there, isn't it? First year. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty excited about that. It's going to be a great event. What's this? What's special about it? Because we have some other competitions around the area, across the Midwest. What do you like about yours? Well, the biggest thing is um, we're fortunate to be able to say that we have the largest payout in the area, mm -hmm. which is bringing the biggest teams. We have the number one and number two teams in the world here. Wow. What? Yes. In the world. I'd like <laughs> to try their barbecue. Coming to <laughs> Arena Q. That's the theme this year. So we, we said categories earlier. Let's talk a little bit about those and some of the things you brought in here and which categories they fit into, Troy. The four main categories with KCBS is chicken, mm -hmm. pork ribs, pork butt or shoulder, and brisket. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then with ours, we also have three ancillary which is bacon. That's where the bacon fits bacon. in. That's where the bacon where comes in. Okay. Okay. Let's spend a minute on these because this is the novelty where people say, never, in, listen, I've had ribs. Yours might right. be better than anything I've tried before, but I've never even heard of bacon wrapped <laughs> onion rings. So, where did this creation come from? Actually, one of our members of Gobbs, mm -hmm. Steve Richards, actually won this and, and took it to the world championships uh -huh. last year. How, wow. do you do, how do you do a world's with this? You finished in top ten. Wow! Yeah, with this, with yep. this recipe, and, Mike. and it was a bacon uh, recipe category. Yes. Was. Bacon Mike only. has been dying to try these. So no, Mike, don't act like you haven't. Man. <laughs> don't put this all on me. Everybody who loves bacon is saying, "What? I've now, never how are, is it just? They're not fried onion rings and then wrapped with bacon. These are just yes. rings of onions, right? right. So the bacon, bacon is the batter. Bacon Correct. is In the essence, batter. if you think mm -hmm. about a traditional onion ring, how do you like it, big guy? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a some sort of caramelization or something yes. on there. There's some seasonings. Mm -hmm. A little bit more too. Oh yeah, right. well you'd expect. I mean, you're not just going to take plain old bacon oh, and no. leave it alone. No. That you no. don't win awards that way. Right. That's really good. Um, and let's look down here if we could to, to the ribs. So what did you do with this rack? This has been seasoned with three different seasonings. Mm -hmm. Been put on smoker for four hours. Okay. Then this was wrapped. Yeah. And then there's our favorite honey. Butter, uh -huh. a lot of butter, a lot of butter, a lot of butter, and brown sugar. Wow, mm -hmm. you're and not eating this if you're watching your waistline. No, no. not at but all. But if you love flavor, well, right. yeah, you're going for the yeah. flavor. Yeah. Right, it gives you different depths of flavor with this. Mike, what's the key? What's rib? the key on ribs uh, to get that tenderness? But you know, some people think that the falling off the bone um, is, is what you want, but that's actually probably a little overcooked, isn't it? That is considered overcooked. With with being a judge, mm -hmm. we need them to be on the bone. Take one bite yeah. and have that still sitting there. You go, there. <laughs> Cut your little piece. Thank you. He's keeping it tidy for me. <laughs> we have pictures of these turn in boxes. Yes. So, right? Presentation's a big part of what the judges look for as well. Correct. Give that us is a few of the, kind of the of criteria. We look for appearance first, mm. which is what you're seeing now. Mm -hmm. From there, we go to taste and tenderness. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, is this. Whoa, that's good. <laughs> and this has been sitting here for a little oh bit of gosh. time, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Troy. It's very good. <laughs> That's wow, super tasty. Tender. Let's talk to Chelsea. Because she's not here just to smile and watch us eat wax on poetically <laughs> about your ribs. But your, your organization is involved with this event, how? So, Heartland Hope Mission is going to receive some of the proceeds from what's going on, which is awesome. Gobbs has been an amazing supporter um, of the mission, and I love that they're taking something that's a very family friendly event mm -hmm. and that's all around food yeah. and supporting an organization that's providing food for families in need. Mm -hmm. and Can you talk about your mission? How many families you're helping throughout the course of the year? What the need is like right now? Yeah, we serve over 30,000 low income um, people here in the Omaha metropolitan area. So we provide them with a week's supply of food, mm -hmm. hygiene and clothing, and then we also work with those families one on one to help them become self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. It's not about relying on assistance from that day forward. Okay. Your goal is to help them in that moment and then give them the tools they need uh, to sustain their own livelihoods. Absolutely. This is so valuable. So Ron, she mm -hmm. said at this event is for families. Mm -hmm. Anybody can come. Absolutely. But when we show up, do we sample stuff or do we just kind of walk around and observe? What's in it for <laughs> us here? Well, um, there's several things. There's a kids zone mm -hmm. for the kids. We're going to have music on Friday night. Uh, we have four bands playing on Friday night. There's a beer garden. We're go also going to have music and bands on uh, 
Saturday mm -hmm. uh, from. Am uh, I eating when I get there, Ron? Because if this is a few days. That's what, that's what Mary's asking here. Are we <laughs> eating? Ron, and you eat, like, or you're not I'm glad you have stuff cook. for the kids, but when I get there and I smell all this goodness, I want to be able to try something. We're going to have uh, several food trucks there mm -hmm. from around the Omaha area. Some are barbecue related, some are not. So you get a big variety of all different kinds of food. Um, so yeah, there will be opportunities. Yeah. As far as from the competitors, mm -hmm. it's actually against the rules for us That's to right. sample to sure. the public. Mm -hmm. So they're preparing for the judges Correct. and nobody else. Correct. So and which I want to ask you is about the judge. Who is judging and what do these judges look for? Depending on what category it is, yeah. I imagine it's a little bit different. With the judges, we we put out an application early in the year, mm -hmm. and they have to apply to be a judge for a contest. We go through all the judges, make sure we have master judges, mm -hmm. which are ones that have completed their masters with get cooking for a company. Yeah. Also, you have to have 30 uh, judging uh, applications done. So you can't, you're not just pulling people off the no. street no, saying, hey, no, does no, this no, taste no. good no, or not? You yeah. have to go through a class and everything yeah. to be, become a judge. Well, I think, as you were saying too, with the payout, right? It's just like with a golf tournament, the bigger the purse, the bigger the draw, you get the best players right. in the game. Absolutely. It's the Definitely. same story with some of these guys and gals coming in and these teams from all over. Right. They're experienced and they're coming because they want the prize. Uh, they want the bragging rights. They want to be able to have the title. And it all happens this Friday and Saturday. So you see the hours on the screen for those days. It's free to get in, but take some money so you can hit up the food trucks and run around. The website is GOB, so Greater Omaha Barbecue Society. It's what those letters stand for, gobs.org, if you'd like to learn more about it. Chelsea, it's great to see you. Thanks, Chelsea. Thank Thanks you for, for bringing the bacon. Here. And there's probably about another eight, or eight to ten of those bacon wrap rings in there. We'll pass around to the guys in the studio. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. Over those. Nice guys, to have you here. Hope it's a great weekend.